it's unreal. It's unreal. Ah, <sighs> just another day, another day in paradise, where the moon is nice. <laughs> Oh, dude, I'm glad you fucking... Well, DM'd. well, well. Yeah, well, well, well. I'm glad you DM'd. I fucking completely forgot about this. It's... Oh, my God. That hasn't happened in a long... T- dude, like, he sent that. You were, like, Discord up there. I'm like, why is he DMing about Discord? I'm like, wait a second. <laughs> <laughs> he said seven... P- that's today? <laughs> that's today. <laughs> and I, like, looked at my phone. I'm like, oh, 6.59. Perfect. <laughs> no, not perfect. I got it's, him again, it's, brother. <laughs> I, it's no. <laughs> Why do you do this? Piece of cake. You know what I'm saying? Why do you do this? I don't even try it. I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> I hate it. I hate it. <laughs> the, conf- no, funny <laughs> the confidence you have with your lies is <laughs> impenetrable. It was. It, there was a good Impeccable? chance I could have been like out. You know. Or like in the shower, but I just happen to be red. I can be. I was like, nice. yeah. And you're nicely one minute. Do late. it again. You're nicely one and a half <laughs> minutes late. I, d- I do it again. <laughs> I'll do it again. You just got in. You said Discord was fucking updating. I got scared. I didn't know how long the update was gonna last. They didn't tell me none. <laughs> they never do, huh? No, they never do, huh? I don't know. Mine didn't update, so. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. Well, well, well. Then again, you're using a fucking Mac. Well, I have a question. I, um... Whoa, whoa, whoa. Uh, what? Don't, don't spit at me. What? What, what, what do you mean? What do I do? Why? <laughs> uh, I'm like a nine... I'm, dude, I'm nine feet away from my mic. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Because <laughs> apparently, well, if I wasn't, you'd be deaf. That's true. No, I, I have a question. I actually. Mm-hmm. Oh, when you sign into Discord, do you have to re put in your email and password each time? No. Sometimes I do, but not usually. Why do I have? I, 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 there's. N- is there like an option to like forgot? Pa- like, no, I'm sorry, not forgot. Like, just remember username. That way, every time I launch the app, I can just click sign in. Probably, yeah, because I usually click that whenever I have anything because I hate signing. My entire life, I've never had that option. For the past years, I've had to type in my whole email and password to get into Discord. I do, Like I said, I do sometimes. I think it might be on a timed thing. Hey, buddy, buddy, buddy. I'm yeah. not saying I do it sometimes. I do it <laughs> every time. <laughs> so there's clearly a way to not do it every time. And you're not helping at all. Well, you think I know? You're the guy. Oh, you know fucking... who you are? You're the guy at work where, like, if someone goes, hey, man, my thing's not working. It's like, well, mine's working. Like, <laughs> it's like, okay, dude. Well, well, I don't know what to tell well, you. Mine's <laughs> not. <laughs> I'm not a fucking Discord fucking admin. You're the know. worst guy at work. Because you know who you also are? Because you know who you also are? If your thing wasn't working, you'd be like, hey, hey, is anyone else's thing not working? Mine's not working. Hey, guys, we got to stop everything real quick and fix my Team thing. Team meeting. You <laughs> Closed door meeting. <laughs> I'd have no clue, brother. I guess not. Well, sometimes you ask me, like I'm like some security expert, and you you forget that no. I'm just as dumb as you. Yeah, <laughs> like, uh, yeah. Know. You know what? Yeah, everything you just said. Especially <laughs> with Discord, I'd never know what's going on with Discord. I hate Discord with a passion. I hate it, dude. Half the time, I will see what happens to me is half the time I I open the thing, it, it'll say like. You gotta ch- you gotta change your name. We'll, we'll let you we'll let you go this time, but next time you gotta change your name. <laughs> it's like they do that whole thing. Discord's like, the, one of those things where it's like we got a lot of laws. It's like yeah, you ain't forcing <laughs> shit. Yeah. You don't got a police department. No, I change it nothing. Not unless you hold me down and make me change it. <laughs> well, I want to try on on this episode with you, like to fix it. However, it would require me signing out of Discord, and then I won't be able to talk to you. Yeah. yeah. Damn, I've been a Discord member since February 17th, 2017. Where does it tell you that? Right when you click on your little icon on the bottom left there. 
I was clicking to see if there was an option wow, that said September twentieth, twenty nineteen. I thought it'd be longer. You had one before that, then. Oh, you think this is a separate one? Yeah, like this is like my original. original. Yeah, we this created like, ours around the same time. You're right. Yeah, yeah, because we, yeah, literally, it probably like the same day. Or, oh, we yeah, were, yeah, because the email, it. yeah, the email I use is the email I created when I uh, got back in touch with you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have a newer account too. I, I don't know why I'm on this one. Oh, so then maybe yours is even lo- longer than 2017. No, that that's just that sounds about right because that's that's when I started the channel. Back right, Jim, then. I'll just go fuck myself. Though. I, 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 what? What? I, <laughs> <laughs> I never had one, but I didn't even know what Discord was. Being very argumentative today. Oh, I'm sorry. Well, you know, you're telling me I'm screaming. In your ear, right, you're, you're right. right. I had, you I had one problems. in fucking 2012. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Let's did, go with that. Did Discord even exist then? I don't know, dude. Let's find I out. I didn't even know what it was. When was Discord created? 2015. I have this uh, interesting idea for a GPS mm. system, and I have no idea who to like tell about the idea, like to get it off the. Tell me. Tell, are are you? In, <laughs> you can create an app. No, but let me. Uh, what's what's. All right, all right, hear Give me, me the deets. Hear me out. Hear me out. Hear me out. I right? <laughs> just hear me out. Um, you know how you be driving? <laughs> oh, my Amazon package. Was here. <laughs> whoa, boy, boy. <laughs> you know how you be driving, <laughs> dude? I would never. This is like you know how like people act like oh, what are you doing a bit? People and their CEOs, they're just lucky. It's like no, dude. You try to go into nah. a meeting and present something, <laughs> yeah. you're gonna sound like you're fucking five. In a suit. Here's my idea. I thought if we put the people here instead of here. Yes. Um, I know that. I, I know how I'd be driving. All right. Anyways. Yeah. You, all right. You know how you'd be driving. Usually dri- with my hands. And you'd be frustrated as hell like the direction you went. Why, you, why are you talking like that? Because I don't know. I don't know how to present it. <laughs> and you'd be, you be frustrated <laughs> as hell. <laughs> why are you talking like fucking Tupac? <laughs> Tupac post uh, rap career. <laughs> all right. You know how. All right. I kind of, I don't know, I really actually, I can't help myself, I kind of just want to talk like that when it comes to this. <laughs> I like, alright, you know how you'll, alright, you know how you'd be driving and fucking, <laughs> <laughs> I can't, dude, I really can't help it. And you're frustrated, like, with the direction that you took, right? You're just mad, like, you're angry at whatever direction you take. And you try to, like, adjust your GPS. Because of traffic? Maybe because of traffic. Cause of oh, because sh- of the GPS. Like, you followed the GPS, and you're like, what the fuck? Why? Yeah, and even if you did all the whole, like, avoid highways or avoid uh, hard intersections, avoid this, avoid, like, you're still frustrated. I thought if there was a way to, like, I don't know how it would, see, this is this is where it's all above my head. I don't know how it would do it, but, like, in a way, an AI, like, I know it's like not AI, but like I'm gonna just say AI because I'm stupid and everything's AI. An AI, an artificial intelligence kind of way that knows the kind of mood you're in when you get in the car, and the GPS will pick out the best route from your, you know, where you start to your destination based on what kind of mood you're in. Does that make sense? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like you have like a Fitbit. That, like, monitor your heart rate. Yeah, like a fit... Dude, there you go. Like a Fitbit, but for your, like, mood, your energy, like... It will, and so it will, if you're angry, what would the... <laughs> <laughs> fuck it, just... <laughs> I-95, let's go! We're going 90 plus! I don't care what the tolls are! I gotta fucking go! <laughs> and, but Not a bad idea. It, I don't think it is, because, like, I feel like one objection right off the bat would be... Well, you could just, like, do avoid tolls and just take, like, uh, back roads. And it's like, yeah, but this is, like... One that's calcul- like that's how you think you should go. However, this will be a computer, uh, a me- whatever the fucking AI. I'm st- I'm too stupid to know what the actual term is. This will be an AI, an artificial intelligent way, like an algorithm. Yeah, an algorithm that will tell you, oh, this is the exact mood you're in now. So this is exactly the way you're gonna want to go. Just like if you were listening to music, it would be like this is the yeah. Ex- 
I like think it, it won- there has to be a way to do that, and it's not going to be like in, insanely advanced because it's, it's like how could it know your mind? But if it's like a Fitbit thing, it might know what your blood pressure and your pulse and like what your feeling is, it, and also it might know like okay, this person at this time of the day is usually in this kind of mood, and also if maybe like the app could have features like hey, tell us what kind of mood you're in, and again, if you like if it starts to get a custom of like okay, this person usually feels this way at six a.m. They usually feel this way at ten a.m. And it will start to adapt and it will reroute in your best interest. Mm. Yeah, that's a, that's not a bad idea, actually. It's a good thing. I'm no sure one that li- will be a thing. It's probably already a thing. And if it's not, it's a good thing well, no one listens to the show because no one can steal it. Yeah, like for me, though, no matter what em- emotion I'm in, I want to go the fastest way. <laughs> fair enough, so, fair enough. <laughs> I'm, I'm just one of those people where I just... I like I do like driving. Yeah, well, you know what? This GPS scenery, isn't but... for you. Go fuck yourself. <laughs> yeah, no, I definitely wouldn't buy something like that for sure. It doesn't have to. No, that's the thing. GPS for is... one, I don't want something monitoring my fucking heartbeat anyway. G- GPSs are usually free. What do you mean? Well, they're free. Like you don't have to pay for a GPS on your phone. What? If you get like Google Maps or Apple Maps or Waze, you don't pay for those. They're they're free. You just download them. Well, they're not free, but I know what you mean. Jim, yeah. I, I, yeah, but I know what you mean. And can you stop being 18 when you say that? It's like the gays. <laughs> what do you mean? You know, there's nothing free. If you're free, then you're the user. Yeah, it's, no, it's, it's using million-dollar satellites. But, yeah, no, it's uh, they're just using all our data that we yeah, I know. use to GPS and sell I, it. And I, know, make money. I know, I know. That's like when people say, oh, you know, fucking people telling us how to podcast. These podcasts are fucking free. It's like, no, they're not. You're, you sell ads on them. <laughs> and we're paying attention. You're right. You sound we pay just with as, our time. Just as douchey. <laughs> no. Good, good point. I hate when you're 100 percent right, Jeff. Yeah, I agree I hate with when you. People do that. Not that you're doing that, but I do hate when pe- when podcasters do that. They'll be like, Dude, "We're providing this for free." And it's like, you know, you're not. I'm. You, you're honest, making money. You're making a career. I'll be honest to God. I'll be honest to God. <laughs> I think the main reason I've never put ads on – well, first off, no one it would generate no money. But the main reason – No, I'm talking about successful podcasts. <laughs> like, <laughs> <laughs> I'm talking about people who can't run ads. I'm talking about people who do run ads. <laughs> yeah, but I, to be fair, I really do think the reason I don't is because I'm lazy. I can't – like to go through – dude, yeah, yeah. you knew what it was like to go through Google AdSense. Oh, my God. <laughs> it was a nightmare. It's a fucking that's something. Uh, that's something I'm not looking forward to I'm at gonna, all. To, like, and then the money gets involved. It's like, you think I'm going to go through that for like 200 bucks for like Ugh. 10 years of work? Get the fuck out of here. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Such a nightmare getting an AdSense account, dude. What the fuck? Let alone fuck it. Yeah, I, I hate that shit. But dude, uh, that's not a bad idea. Have you ever had like a Fitbit? Not in a million years. My, uh, my girl's I got one of those. Got one. She's got an Apple Watch, and she does that thing where, like, you close the circles on the watch. Like, there's these three circles you have to close, like, daily. And like then, the Olympics? Yeah, like the Olympics. And um, when, if, like, her sister or if her friends, like, if they're following each other and their circles closed, they'll get an update. Like, so-and-so, like, you know, uh, Sarah closed all her circles today. And, like, I've heard her say, like, oh, wow. What does that mean, though? It means you got. I don't have it one. means uh, I don't know what the circles mean, but I think one of them is like steps. So you got your steps in for the oh, for the day. It's like a checklist. It's a check. It's like a, it's like a health checklist for the day. Oh, and it shit, dude. I. It's something only a girl would get. Yeah, to compare. <laughs> you, Who the, like, why would you want that? Because uh, it's marketing. Like, I want everyone to know I did my exercise. It's like, who the fuck care? Do it because you want to do it. <laughs> it's not even that. It's like. Come on. Like, you couldn't get your step, like, come on. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, I'm losing subscribers, and in my mind, I'm like, who the who the fuck's choosing now to go, you know what? I'm done <laughs> yeah. with it. I, I just, I, I was I was having a good I time. I liked it until now. Yeah. <laughs> then you called fucking Aretha Franklin a fucking E.T., it took me like four seconds to realize that, that was was it Rosa Parks we called E.T.? I forgot the name. Yeah, was it Rosa Parks? Oh, wait. It wasn't Uma Thurman, right? No. It was... Um, no, it was, it was Rosa Parks. It wasn't uh, Rosa. For some reason, I couldn't remember It wasn't, the name. though. It was the other girl. Yeah, Aretha, it wasn't... I knew it wasn't Aretha Franklin. I just said that. But it's not Rosa Parks, either. Yeah, it is. No, it's not. It's the other girl. 
The Underground Railroad. The Underground Railroad. Um, something Thelma. Oh, uh, Harriet Tubman. Harriet. Oh, Harriet Tubman. <laughs> no, no, no. One message from Brandon. <laughs> <laughs> Ever since that episode, dude, he's fuming. <laughs> He hates us. He really does hate us. <laughs> can you blame him though? Uh, no, I can't. I can't. I actually, you know, I I feel for him. He seemed genuinely upset, so I get it. But, uh, you know. <laughs> <laughs> it's all your fault. I think he sees me now the same way he sees you. I, I think I that's exactly just, it. I think he had yeah. hope and faith where like he could just like lambast me with you. And now yeah. he's like, oh no, he's this guy sucks too. <laughs> <laughs> so now he can't have any fun when he comes on here. <laughs> he hasn't read a single message in like two weeks. <laughs> Wait, so why didn't you have a Fitbit? Why is my Amazon package delayed? Fuck me, man. Hold on. I gotta fuck it. I gotta. See, you can't do that. You can't do that. Do what? Track the packages, dude. That's that's a one way ticket to fucking stress. <laughs> <laughs> Is it? <laughs> yeah, I used to do that too. I used to get so anxious and I would track every fucking step. I'd be like, "Up, oh, it's in fucking Virginia today. It's good. It'll come tomorrow." <laughs> yeah. And then it'd be like, "In New York," and I'm like, "How long's it gonna be in fucking New York?" It's two days away. <laughs> I get ready to call him, and I'm like, all right. All right. Dude, like I get to the out. point where, like, I'll pick it up myself. I don't care. <laughs> yeah. Just get- yeah, what happened in fucking Pennsylvania? <laughs> <laughs> it's been there for four fucking days. Dude, it was... It was was re- there a shooting? Like, what it the was fuck? released from an Amazon, like, shipping thing that's only, like, an hour away from my place yesterday. It's like, did the guy get lost? It's like, like getting further away. <laughs> <laughs> what happened? <laughs> oh, shit. I'm contacting them. I'm going to tell you what they say, too. I'll be right. I'm going to grab a water. I'm going to grab a water, he says. I'm like on my phone. It's your job to talk. He le- he left. He just left. It's, it's unreal. All right. I don't. All right. First off, need help watching Thursday Night Football? <laughs> no, I'm all right. Um. Payments, login, yeah. something else. Something else. <gasps> I need more help. Ah, there we go. Good old hi, it's Amazon Messaging Assistant. Mm. What? I'm back. Didn't get my order. I'm the worst. People are like these these people are like, dude, bro, it's, it's delayed like two days. Like, relax. <laughs> <laughs> Choose items. There's a multitude of items actually in this. Um order is order is late. Your package with design and shift. Instead, and you can always try to uh, turn. Uh, what if I don't want? What if I don't want it anymore? I'm, I don't like that. Amazon's like, what if you don't want it anymore? <laughs> uh, dude, my stomach was bothering me earlier. Why? I don't know, man. I, I like I kept this meat in the freezer, yet when I was eating it, it felt like it was bad. And I'm like, well, mm. how could this be bad? It's been in the freezer this entire time. How long has it been in the freezer, though? Like a month or two. That should still be good. Right? Yeah, it's, it's, I think meat keeps in the freezer for like a, like months and months and months. But usually, anytime I've gotten sick from food, like I've always, when eating the food, I'm like, this, this tastes a little off. <laughs> and then meanwhile, I'm shitting and throwing up like a day later. Uh, yeah, dude, that's the thing. So my stomach, I hate throwing up. I, I really hate throwing. It's the worst. I mean, no one loves it. I love it. You love throwing up? I love it. Why? Because anytime I've had to throw up, I have, I, I'm really sick to my stomach. That's why I have to throw up. So it feels really good to finally throw up. I'd rather throw up than have a sick stomach. No. And usually so, when you throw up, you feel relieved. I understand what you're saying. I get it. And... I agree to a point. However, I I love just holding it in and going, all right. And then oh. it, if I can get through that like couple hours and then it starts to feel better, it's like, it, I feel like throwing up is like a physical, like, yes, it's out. We won. <laughs> We're not throwing up is like a mental battle. Like, yes. Yeah, it's like holding in a sneeze. <laughs> <laughs> it's 
Like it feels so much better just to fucking sneeze it out. True. Well, yeah. Hold it, dude. When you have to sneeze and then it just goes back inside, that's one of the most debilitating feel. The sa- it's just a, <laughs> it's such a shitty oh, feeling when you get all the way to the point where you go. And, and you still don't sneeze, and you're just like, "What the fuck?" What's uh, you're like, "Yeah, where's the payoff?" Like robbed. Yeah, it's like it's like no cum <laughs> shot. <laughs> yeah, but uh, everyone I've ever told though that I like I like to throw up, they, I always, no one's ever agreed with me though, so I know I'm not one out on this one. But yeah, but I I, I, I at least like understand it. what you're saying, you know. Yeah, the only I will say the only time I don't like throwing up is when. You have a stomach bug and you do it so much that you dry, start to dry heave. Dry heaving is dry the worst. heaving. I, that's another like that's like no one could ever enjoy that. That's, that's like having an orgasm with no cum coming out. It's just like <laughs> did I even did I even finish? You know what that is? That's like fucked with a sandy dick. That's like coming, but like right when you're busting a nut, like something happens that like <laughs> takes your focus away from this awesome <laughs> moment, and you're like, ah, oh, it's like it's like it didn't even happen. Yeah, <laughs> this sucks. Ah. Uh. By the you way, make those weird like burping sounds as nothing comes out. You're just like, no, dude, mine are like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> when well, you think you're gonna pop, your <laughs> dude, I always think like, like I always think I'm gonna die. I feel like my I'm not gonna be able to breathe. I, I start crawling into a ball above the toilet. It's just it's insanity. I don't know how like. It, it's like your car is stalling on the road, like, like you're going from eighty to zero. <laughs> Always like hanging on to the toilet. Uh, yeah, dude. Like I would never, even though I would never even like put my toe near the toilet. Like. If it, when I'm in a right frame of mind, if I just bumped into the toilet, I'm so <laughs> skewed out. But when you have to throw up, you're like hugging it as if yeah. it's your father, twenty years missing. It's crazy. Yeah, because you just don't care anymore. You're like, fuck it. <laughs> yeah, I'm really. dying anyway. <laughs> <laughs> it really is. <laughs> it's like, what, am I going to get more sick? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> trying to have him jumpstart this delivery to tomorrow. What is it? What is, what's, what's, the, what's the whole rush? It's Christmas gifts. Oh my god, it's not fucking Christmas for another like three weeks. You can wait. I don't want to. It's going to take an extra day. <laughs> yeah, I don't want It should have been today. You do that with every package? Every single package. See, I like I said, I used to do that. I used to be like that. <laughs> stressful life. I used to be like you. Now I'll never look. I'll never. It could be fucking 14 days. I still won't look. I'm like, oh, it'll get here. Then you come home and you're surprised. You're like, oh shit. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> yep. So what else is on your uh Amazon fucking settings? <laughs> we, can, <laughs> we can talk about here. You know, I mean, you it's can... riveting. Hey, listen, buddy. <laughs> oh god, how do I go back to chat? How do I go back to chat? Oh no. Oh no! This is uh, Did I leave Whitey's ch- Amazon order list oh, no. podcast. I left the chat. I left the chat with the associate. How do I go back? <sighs> I'm panicking. You know that those. You know that those are most of the time. That's a computer. Well, I mean, the computer's doing a good job. No, it ain't. <laughs> those things suck. Oh no! How do I go back? Oh. Hi, I'm Emily from Fuck It's like that's an AI. Oh my god, bro! Am I that stupid? No, I feel like eventually you get a real person, right? Not on those things. Not on the little chats, no. Even when they give you money back, that's not a real person? Um, Probably not, no. I don't think they would need a human for that. Hmm. Why, why would they pay someone to do it when a computer can do it? You just give it, they, they usually ask for your name, your order number, and then it just searches through the database. And oh, return the chat. Through. Thank God. Whew. Yes, it will be updated once the item is marked as out for delivery from the. F- you see GTA Six? Uh, I heard it's gonna be in Vice City again. Yeah, you see the trailer. The trailer is nuts. No, but no wonder they've been waiting like forever to release this. They're probably like, "Yo, just wait." I know. <laughs> just wait till it. Like, yeah, like people are like, "Oh, oh, you're mad. You're mad. Wait till the. Wait till you see this." 
Yeah. <laughs> You're going to go from not mad to the, oh my God. They, well, I was honestly kind of on, I was kind of like on the train of like, I, cause it got leaked that it was going to be in Vice City like a long time ago, but I was like, dude, they're going back to, like, I was like, just do a new city. Why aren't they doing, we'll go back to New York. But then when I saw the trail, I was like, dude, this is perfect. <laughs> it captures Florida so well. And just in this modern time, it's like, it, dude, it looks so good. Like, fuck yeah. I'm not even that into GTA, but I'm like, that looks fun. Well, yeah, I haven't played GTA in years, um, and, nah, nah. and also I'm not even going to get this game. However, I like the fact that... Probably not, no. My, I think one of my buddies will get the game, so I'll play with him. Yeah, if I do get it, it will be to play online with my friends, but I've never been into like the single player of GTA ever. Really? You didn't like playing the, uh, the missions? No. Nah. I've never finished the story mode once in any GTA. I used to just run around, play multiplayer, like co-op on screen with friends, or I'd just run around and shoot do cheats. Hmm. That's a uh, yeah. The story mode for GTA is one of the only story. Well, not one of the only, but um, it's one of the story modes I liked the most uh, of uh, most video games. You know. Yeah, yeah, that's what I hear. I hear they're good. Yeah. I would always get like three missions in, and I'd be like, yeah, I'm sick of driving around these guys fucking yelling at me. <laughs> 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 I think I would do all the side shit by accident, not the main shit, and just be like driving around fucking friends. Some of the side missions were funny as shit too. Yeah, they were. I didn't see the trailer. Is it like a two and a half, three minute trailer or something? Uh, yeah, it's short. It's like a minute and a half maybe. You haven't seen it? You gotta see it. Uh, I feel like if we watched it here, it, like the, it would somehow copyright or whatever. It definitely would, so we, sh- we shouldn't put it up, but you could pull it up on your end or something. I'm not going to watch it. Yeah, I'll watch it like later or something. Yeah, yeah. I'll forget about it, honestly. I'm probably... Unless you send it to me, I'm not... Oh, dude, but by the way, I there's so many times where I just want to DM you on Instagram, but for some reason, when I go to share something on Instagram, it only... Uh, like, you don't pop up. I have to manually type your name. The thing that... Really? Po- yeah, the thing that pops up automatically is you and Brandon, that group chat. Which like irates huh. me. It's like it's unreal. You put yeah, you pop up for me and the group chat. Both of them pop up separate. How crazy! Wait, are you? Oh wait, are you following me on Instagram? Yeah, of course. I might not be following you. Hold up. Yeah, that might be. It's, that, it's something. Pro- or my is my account private? Maybe I can try to change something. Though. I don't really know how to work Instagram to be honest with you. Hold up. Hold up. I am. It says following. I'm gonna unfollow. And then follow again. Like I said, it could be on my end. I don't know. I mean, if I were both following each other. Does it ever say I'm online? <laughs> I have no I have no idea. <laughs> I have no clue. It's like sometimes when you're on, I'll see it. It'll show me a green thing that'll say active or active 10 minutes ago. I've see- Oh, yeah, yeah. There's a little green circle. So it says you're online. That means you're online, I think. <clears throat> oh, okay, okay, okay. Huh. I don't know, motherfucker. This fucking one guy goes, <clears throat> yo, when are we doing another episode again? <clears throat> and then I've let him know multiple times about episodes, and he just keeps me on scene. You're dead to me. <laughs> You're dead. It keeps me on red, motherfucker. Do you think Wisdom, do you think that's still an app? <laughs> well, I, don't, I don't know. I don't th- ever think I used it. No, I think I was the only one <clears throat> who used that one. <clears throat> Stereo is definitely. Remember, still didn't that. they make you like a fucking like a guru on there? <laughs> I think everyone was a guru or something. They were like, "Hey, you've been selected as a fucking yeah, 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 like oh. special teacher, oh. premium." Oh, it's like uh, literally, dude, just... the people that went on there. Oh my god, the worst, <laughs> the worst people, like. By far the worst kind of human being you can ever be. Yeah. Just boring <laughs> fucking people who wrote a book about some shit no one cares about and it's not selling. <laughs> <laughs> people that go to networking conferences. Yeah, dude. It, that, it was such a weird group of people I'd never heard of before just like coming through. Just I was like, who they're, are these fucking They're people? totally the people who go to a networking conference have like a five minute chat with someone and go, Oh, Hey, let me give you my card. 
and like <laughs> and leave that conversation <laughs> as if they accomplished something. Yeah. As if and like, they actually have a physical card. Yeah, like they, they as if like like it's still nineteen eighty. As if like that conversation like, yeah, man, I'm really, I'm really doing stuff. Like, n- you're yeah. not doing Add it to dick. the roll of dicks. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you're doing Jack Dick. And then they go home and watch The Office and Hangover 2. That's their favorite fucking show and movie. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Just basic, like, and then they eat meatloaf with fucking mashed potatoes. Oh, I think I'm more like a Joey. No, you're more like Yeah, a- yeah, friends. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Office and friends and... Oh, God. Everybody loves Raymond. Well, that's not shit on everyone. I, I, I didn't even... That was actually a good show. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even watch that show, but, like, I actually like Ray Ramon. I think he's funny. I I, I watched that show, like, because my, like, family would in the family room, so I... But it was actually funny. Yeah, that's not shit. But it is basic. Uh... Every sitcom's basic. Uh... You're adding canned laughter to fucking, like... That, yeah, but that's... Yeah, can't be your only criteria that makes it basic. It can, because if it's funny, you shouldn't have to add canned laughter. <laughs> yeah, but there's a difference from having to do it and choosing to do it. Yeah, okay, if you choose to do it, it's basic. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well... <laughs> However I have to say this, it's the thing. You, it's so basic. basically anything with canned laughter is basic. Yeah, it's fake, phony, That's different. Those are, those are different things. Different, you're saying different words that mean different things. Why do you think they did it? What? That has nothing to do with. I think it was an artistic fucking <laughs> integrity <laughs> that they added kind of laughter. Buddy, buddy, that has nothing to do with basic though. Uh, but I love fucking. I loved. Uh, I can't even think of any sitcoms. God damn it! You want to know the the saddest we ever got? Someone with the house. Yeah. What? You want to know the saddest we ever got? You and I. Like, collectively, what, huh? the, the saddest both, like, we both just looked down and, like, we just started kicking the can around. <laughs> was when what? we found out that uh, <laughs> that Naked Ape was fat. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we got so, like... My what? world just was changed overnight. Dude. Yeah, I had to look in the I, mirror. Because I loved that guy. I lost a friend that like, day. <laughs> Like I'm fat and gay, and he was eating like kielbasa. I couldn't give two shits that he was gay. I didn't. <laughs> no, me neither. Actually, I like that he was gay. But... Yeah, that kind of added a little <laughs> spiciness to the dynamic. Yeah, I was kind of like, oh, that's why he's kind of goofy. But then when he was fat, eating like what was he eating? He was like eating like bratwurst. I don't know, but then he tried to like, oh, you know, I'm a little, and, and then it, like it finally came out. Yeah, well, I'm, I'm, you know. <laughs> I think he said his weight, and we were just like, like the what? quietest we ever were. <laughs> <laughs> Like he said that, and it was just the one time me and you just shut up. We just like looked at each other, like across the room. We looked up to him. Wait a sec. <laughs> yeah, wait a sec. <laughs> I can't respect a fat guy. I was, I was demoralized. I hate fat guys. <laughs> <laughs> fat people are. Uh, I hate them. <laughs> I don't get. I don't get how people could have a fat boss. I uh, quit, dude. When like fucking, when uh, like fat people try to talk down on you. It's like, what do you, uh, like, really? Or, like, run for office. Like, I'm going to get this state back. It's like, dude, you're fat. You can't even get your fucking, you can't even eat responsibly. <laughs> <laughs> you shouldn't be in charge of anything, fat dads. Is he, I wonder where, uh, he, that's one of those people that left doing YouTube. And unless he came back, like, as oh, dude, something. He vanished. Yeah, he probably had a. Cholesterol. And the problem, world needed yeah. him most. <laughs> Did the they? Avatar vanished. <laughs> Did the world need him? Then the Fire Nation. No, it's a, it's a meme. Oh. But, uh. No, I never actually, like, watched his videos, to be honest. But he was, I do wonder where he, he was. He was just funny to talk to. Exactly. I liked streaming with him. Oh, dude. I, I got the uh, unfucking forgivable video up right now. Yeah, the cameraman died from that. Oh, how? I don't know, but I remember watching a thing about it um, like eight years ago. Um, no, dude. Fucking forgive. People don't, kids these days, they don't realize how big that was. <laughs> it was so big. <laughs> when things went viral when, when YouTube first came out, like they were like heard around the world. That it was MySpace and YouTube. That was MySpace and YouTube. Yeah, that was classic. Yeah. 
my entire high school was just like unforgivable. Kids don't understand <laughs> that there used to be a, a video called The Evolution of Dance where people swore, oh, like, oh nothing's that. ever going to have more views than this. <laughs> was that that guy with the orange shirt who I th- did the fucking... Possibly. I forget what color the shirt was. He was like a 40-year-old dad, and he just like danced. 80 million views. Nothing's ever going to top that. <laughs> this is the pinnacle of web watching. It wasn't even, though. It was, it wasn't it, pro- it was probably like 8 million views. No. But back then, it was like, holy shit. I think it was actually in the hundreds of millions. Oh, damn. Wow, if I look up that evolution of dance, it's at 312 million now. Gee, yeah, but it's been so long. Right. What right. was it like when it first cracked, you know? I'm sure. You, I, I believe you. It was probably 80. I'm sure you can find that out, but I ain't fucking. That's probably a lot. Because that was like all there was to watch. There was no other like video site. It was like that in like E Bomb's world. And that one with, like, all the goofy cartoons. E-Bombs World. Lively. Kick, kick, break. What was this? Starter Kick or whatever. Oh, Kickstarter? What about Kickstarter? No. Home Homestar Runner. Whatever the fuck oh, that was. Oh, HomestarRunner.com. Yeah. The email. Yeah, my, my friend always watched that. Characters. Downloads. <laughs> I love that fucking shit. <laughs> what was another? Oh, the Hide My Kids, Hide My Wife. That was another one. Hide your kids. That was just a viral video from a dude that was being uh, interviewed from. Uh... That was insanely gay. <laughs> he well, yes, he was very. He was very gay. <laughs> robbing everybody out here. No, no, they raping everyone out here. They raping them. Oh, yeah. hide, hide your kids. kids hide, hide your wife, because they raping everyone out here. You don't have to go. Best me looking for you. We uh, that song, dude. Still. What's that? That was like the one they remixed the song. Of it, dude. That, that you don't remember the song? That was the best part. Oh, they made a "Hide Your Kids, Hide Your Wife" song. Oh yeah, "Hide Your Kids, Hide Your Wife, Hide Your Kids, Hide Your Wife." I do remember that vaguely. I my I like the one where <clears throat> remember it was the old man <clears throat> who beat up the dude on the bus, and the guy was like, "Someone call me an ambulance." <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> and they made the song. It's like, "Whoa, bet daddy, that an ambulance." <laughs> Just kept, <laughs> ambulance, ambulance. He <laughs> was dying. I was like Tosh.0 dates. Yes, it was. You're right. Because I remember seeing that on Tosh.0. Yeah, that's how I saw it. That was either the first time I saw it or I saw it like, I saw it online and then coincidentally like a week or two later. Well, not coincidentally. That was like the point of the show was to talk about my but like I saw it (laughs) on the show later on. Like he just dropped a podcast. I saw that the other day. I saw that and as gay as it was, like it sounded it was cool to see, like, oh, well, I ain't, I'm not going to have comedians on here because they suck. Yeah, that well, that was gay. I was like, all right, well, this is going nowhere then. But <laughs> I kind of like, no, I um, like that. Like, Theo Von tried that, too. It doesn't work. <laughs> like, oh, I'm going to have my garbage man on. It's like, yeah, that's, that's no one wants to hear that. But No, I enjoy that. I'm the opposite on you with that one. You, you're not going to listen to it. So oh, I wasn't going to listen to it regardless. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So what does it matter? <laughs> yeah, I'm just saying I'm the opposite when it comes to that. And also, you know who else isn't gonna listen? No one else, because <laughs> no one cares about his fucking gardener. <laughs> is it? Wait, is, is is that really who's on the podcast? Is Gardner? Nah, but I mean, that's basically what I got from it. He's like, oh, I'm not gonna have anyone famous on. Oh, is that what it's was? Like, it's like, well, it took you 20 years to do a podcast, so. It's, well, you're right. Well, you, you might be up. right. Like literally, the last episode's <laughs> called "My French Friend." <laughs> yeah, dude, what the fuck. <laughs> I don't the know. gayest thing too was all the I comments actually, being like, "I might I listen to it Tosh. because two things: one, not long episodes, and two, uh, he kind of seemed. I, I always liked his humor. His stand-up wasn't that great. There were bits from his specials that were good. However, it did seem like he was funnier when just talking. Yeah, but he never just talked. What do you mean? He never, he never. Just oh talked. yeah, like he never came on. Like he had a team of writers that wrote for Tosh Rino, and then he did stand up. This is like now he has a podcast. This is like the one time he's talk. That's not true. Probably. Well, I mean, unless he did interviews, I don't know. I didn't yeah, follow his I'm career. Sure, I'm sure he's done some. I mean, the he guy's stinks. almost fifty years old. He stinks, Whitey. Oh, uh, you yeah, <laughs> just admit he's gay and he stinks. I no, I don't think so. 
I don't. We're we're mm. we're on two. This says edgy things. We're on two different avenues with that. That's why he fell off for fucking the last decade because no one cared about his actual stand up. It was just everyone said, "Yo, his stand up's so funny." It's like, well, after his show ended, well, no, I never heard a fucking lick about him. So, well, he hasn't done a special in a while. I bet he did, and he <laughs> just didn't hear because yeah. it. <laughs> it stunk. Daniel Tosh's last special. He's like the white Dave Chappelle, dude. I swear to God, everyone just. Oh shit, he just had a special like this year. Yeah, exactly. Oh shit. Oh shit. All the diehard fans, I didn't hear (laughs) Pete. Holy shit. I've been looking for specials, I didn't hear one (laughs) Pete. Wait, I gotta see. Wait, when was this? Wait, is this can't be a special? I don't believe it. Did he really have one this year? I don't know. No. No, no, it's just clips from it. I'm sorry. Wait. Yeah, it's. Wait a minute. Hold on. List of Daniel Tosh stand-up specials. Now, to be fair, I feel like we actually would have heard about it. Yeah. He's a big name. If he had done one, it would have been... He probably would have been through Netflix, and it would have been a whole thing. All right, let's see here. <clears throat> yeah, People Pleaser was his last one, and that was 2016. That's a long time uh, ago, dude. That's that is a long time ago. A real long time ago. Yeah. Probably I just busy I think, being gay. And I think stuff. my favorite one actually by him was uh, Completely Serious, which was one of his first ones in 07. Mm. He had some funny he had some funny jokes. I watched them when they came out like on Comedy Central. I didn't like they're not my favorites, but he definitely is funny. You know, his th- like his overall specials aren't amazing. However, I listen to him I'm like, yeah, I kind of li- I like some of this. It's not bad. No, it's definitely not. He's definitely funny. It, Happy Thoughts was that one of them? Happy Thoughts was one of them. I just X out of all of that. I'm not going back. Ah, uh, true. Happy Thoughts, People Please. I think Happy Thoughts was before People Pleaser, like the one before in like 2011. I forget. He he was one of those um. He's kind of like in that whole like Comedy Central, like Amy Schumer, Anthony Jeselnik crowd that kind of went, got real quiet the last few years. Yeah, but I... Th- like suspiciously quiet. And I- <laughs> 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 There's certain like really successful celebrity uh, stand-ups that, from LA that just kind of just fucking went radio silent. I will say this. Out of though, nowhere. I, and I, listen, this is subjective. I get it. It's not even close. I think he's so much more funnier than those two. I think he's funnier than those oh, two. Oh, of com- course. Combined. And I don't even think the, those other two are funny. So <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. I, I wouldn't feel, even be fair. But he, you see why I would lump them in. Like Amy the Schumer thing. is just like whatever, and Anthony Jeselnik just seems like a guy who's like, yeah, no, I can see that impressing like a fourteen-year-old. Like, yeah, yeah, that's, yeah. that's good stuff. I just hate when. I don't think when someone writes a joke, right, and it goes 180 degrees on where you thought it was going to go, that means that person's creative. It's like, All right. it's like, oh, you know what I'll say at the end of this joke? The complete opposite of what people are thinking. It's like, I, all right, like, is that supposed to? Yeah. That's like, it's like a movie ending and going, but maybe it was all just a dream. Oh my God. Like, whoa, my God. Like your brain explodes and you're shitting in your hand and you're throwing it at someone in seat eight. It's just like, dude, like fucking. Yeah. Just misdirection. Yeah. I don't, I don't got time for this shit. It's kind of Daniel Tosh too, though. <laughs> a little bit. I think that's why I didn't like him that much. That's fair. No, that, he does have some of that too. His shit was always a lot of, like, shock. But then he would have those jokes that were really true and funny. Yeah. I, I think that's why I like them. Dude, the, one of my favorite jokes from him is, like, where it's, like, 15 minutes of fame. No, that's an average. And then he just starts pointing to the off. <laughs> zero, 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 zero. <laughs> points 20 years. Zero, yeah. zero, zero, zero. I was like, that's hilarious. <laughs> that's amazing. Yeah, that's a good joke. Yeah, well, all right, well. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, well. <laughs> uh, I guess I'll go fuck myself. <laughs> guess we're just uh, 
hanging around. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna read, Brandon, huh? I'm going to read the names <laughs> of these episodes, Emma, because he's only got like six. My wife's gynecologist. My fa- and by the oh. way, you can never judge a, a name because the name I I literally purposely put the dumbest names I can think of for these episodes. Yeah, but I'm pretty sure it's his wife's gynecologist. <laughs> True, and to be fair, the episode's gonna suck whether it had a good name or not. If you click my episodes, <laughs> but, um, my favorite athlete with no legs, my wellness guru, and the last one's my wellness fr- guru, my French friend. I hate him. <laughs> <laughs> I hate him. <laughs> You want you want me to read the bio? Yeah, I guess. Tosh show is a window into the mind of comedian Daniel Tosh. Each week, Daniel interviews people from all walks of life that he finds interesting, shares his take on current events, and gives you a. By the way, this is like <laughs> we gotta read the uh, this one when we get a chance because I forget if I still have it. And gives you a little insight into his world. Nothing is off limits, and with endless topics to explore. Tosh and his guests will satisfy everyone's curiosity. I hate him. <laughs> I got famous from saying faggot and retard, and the second it wasn't acceptable, I didn't put out another special. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, we all know what you're doing, brother. You think He's that... waiting out the storm. Oh, you think that's what it is? It's exactly what it is. Oh my god, you're so like that's that's not being cynical. He that's, was like he was like be, fake edgy. That's you being well. That's, he was like edgy when it was all right to be edgy, and then the second it's not, he's he's all of a sudden quiet as a fucking mouse. Well, I saw so I, he can play both sides. I dude, I saw. Uh, I forget. I was at someone's place, and uh, like a song ended on YouTube on, on their TV, and a thumbnail to a, a video came up, and it was Jordan Peterson. And he was interviewing a comedian. <laughs> I forgot about that guy. I, well, it was an interview like he had it with a comedian. And it had to do with like cancel culture or something. Clean and, your room. And I said. <laughs> <laughs> Make your bed. <laughs> you, dude, you're like really good at impressions, by the way. <laughs> you, don't, you don't get enough credit for how good you are at impressions. It's fucking, I can't do, dude, I am worse at it. I couldn't do anything when it comes you to You got to have one good one. I got Everyone has one good one. Uh, yeah, you know how you be driving? <laughs> 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 That's what I got. That's all I got. So he was, what was it? He was c- cancel culture? What, what do you mean? He, he would still be talking about cancel culture. Oh, oh yeah. The, it was just, the, it was a comedian where like, I, I guess I've, no, I've only seen a few clips of this dude. And I think we've talked about him before. With Matt Reif? Oh, I thought it was Mark. Is it Matt Reif? I know. I think so. We've talked about him before. He's like that. He's got like an extremely like gorgeous jawline. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, so it is just an Adonis this kid. Oh my god! Like, <laughs> like chiseled from the god. Size twelve feet. Huge good, dick. Good haircut. Huge. <laughs> god, just yeah. fucking swinging V-neck. pipe. V-neck that fits tight, and he actually has some muscle. Father's like the father of the daughter's like, yeah, this is a good guy. You can date my daughter. <laughs> no idea he's blowing out her back in the back of his Camaro. <laughs> <laughs> and people shit on him just because he's good looking, even though he is kind of funny. Is he funny? He's pretty funny. Real, I dude, I thought he's not like. I wouldn't go it like he's like I put him in like a Tosh Dale Tosh category. Like he I, he's definitely funny, but he's not like my cup of tea. That's fi- I mean, I thought it was boring, but like. I can understand that category. Like, I can understand being in that category. Mm. However, yeah, I, I, I only saw short stuff. clips of it. I, it actually, I haven't seen anything from him since the last time we talked about him. Mm. Um, he's like, uh, he's like famous, famous. You know? What do you mean? Like, he's like the he's like uh, like Dane Cook was for our generation. He's like he's so famous. Like, I was at my dentist, and like the dentist, and like girls were talking about him like nice. in the real world that's nice man he's probably been working on that shit for a long time too yeah yeah and then he blew up on tiktok and like he's like mainstream like kind of with people who wouldn't normally be into stand-up type shit you know which See, is good i think it's good for the overall thing of it well i think uh that's kind of like um because dane cook got famous when itunes was a big thing 
So maybe he's getting famous when TikTok's a big thing. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Like it's definitely helping his fame. All right. And uh, he, uh, yeah, apparently he got into some trouble. Is that what they were talking about on the thing? I didn't, no, I first off, not in six thousand trillion years was I ever going <laughs> to click on that. No. Fucking, uh, second off, okay. wasn't my TV. It was at like some it, like <laughs> they after like the song ended, thirty seconds to a minute went by. They found another song, <laughs> but I saw, but I saw it. <laughs> And the thing that got me was it was a, it was about it had to, I mean maybe it had, the title said something about cancel culture, and like it, I don't know how like dude I'm really bad you know I'm bad with words and I, there's so many like thoughts going on in my mind I don't know how to spew it out but it's like it's kind of like what you said with the uh, fake edginess where it's like dude that cancel culture doesn't actually affect that person yeah that, not now that guy's not being affected by it. Like at all, it, and nah. and any claims that it is happening, like oh, here's an example. It's like no, dude, that's not. That's different. Like that's the, there's two <laughs> cancel culture is when like the police are at your house, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. not because like point eight percent of people online who heard your humor don't like it. That doesn't count. So when I yeah. saw, so in my head when I saw that thumbnail, I'm like, that's not. It's how do I explain? It, it's as if uh, uh, all right here, here here all right you know how I'll explain it. This is how I I think I know how to explain stuff now. It just hit me. I'm 30 years old and it just hit me in my brain, dude. Here's how here's how I'll explain it. We're dumb, right? So we still have like school brain, like high school and middle school brain. So here's mm-hmm. how I'll explain it. There's like the kind of like losery kids, right? Who are really funny though, right? And they say shit all the time. And then, like, there's, like, the uh, really posh kids who probably are not that funny overall. However, one of them is a little bit funnier than all of them and will say sometimes similar jokes to the losery kids, right? Mm -hmm. And then people will go, oh, man, like, you kind of shouldn't say that's kind of spelled like, oh, man. And it's just like, bro. The, the other group that you're not a part of has been saying shit 20 times better than that for years. And you're going to make him like the poster child of like, what's like not to say. It's like this, it, that's such like, what the fuck? Do you know? Yeah, right, yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah, I know. Yeah, I know exactly what you mean. All right. You know what I mean? All right. I'm actually, I'm stunned that it took me 30 years to fucking use examples like that. <laughs> like, Cause again, my brain hasn't evolved since I was 17. Yeah. I, Cause when I heard about that thing with like his, Cause it was something with his Netflix special, and people were like, "I didn't see his Netflix special," but I'm like, "Well, Shane Gillis just had one, and I'm sure whatever fucking Shane Gillis was saying was with ten times worse than whatever he, the fuck he said." <laughs> um, but the th- I think it's mo- the thing I was saying is because he's hitting a lot of like women, you know, in his his demographic, definitely just like Dan Cook did, and hitting a lot of like family type shit. So uh, apparently he's had some like domestic violence joke in the beginning of his special, and then people were like, all these like moms and Karens were like upset, and then I forget he like sent out an apology, but it was like a link to like a special, like a special ed helmet or something, and then people got even more mad. But I, the whole thing, I was like, dude, this is a non-story. I bet like three people were mad. <laughs> like who gets mad over a domestic violence fucking? It's joke? almost as if uh, it's like, dude, like. The- the wave he's getting hit by broke at the shoreline like fucking yeah. years ago. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, do that humor when the wave was coming up, when the yeah. fucking tsunami was hit, like, about to I know. <laughs> go, go, go for a swim then. <laughs> Even a few years ago, do it, but now it's like, who the fuck? No one cares about a fucking hitting women joke. <laughs> <laughs> now you have to, like, say something bad about, like, Israel or something. Yeah, really. Have, yeah. <laughs> now it's the Jews. Like, no one cares about women anymore. <laughs> have an anti-Israel and uh, what else? We, if you're anti, people you, will freak out about Ukraine. Nah, no, they don't even care about Ukraine anymore. Actually, thing, yeah, things you gotta keep up, man. Things go fast. What are you doing? I can't, I don't fucking know. <laughs> I don't know if people get upset. About now. Do people even get upset anymore? People were never upset. Well, we, yeah, but you know what I mean. We have. Do, are people s- pretending to be upset about anything anymore? 
I don't. That's a good question. I don't think people even have the strength. I'm on to, Instagram now. Uh, uh, it's it's, like people aren't <laughs> by a lot or anything anymore. Yeah. By the way, you are here like shit. That's like go to Instagram, dude. Go Instagram to the is wild. Watch people cook food in India and go to the comment section. <laughs> yeah. Dude, the amount of people that are like, it's fucking Bangladesh. It's not even. It's like okay. I wonder if that's the next one. That's the next bubble bursting is the fucking Indian shit. <laughs> I think it will be. I think In I, two years, Indians will be a whole, there'll be a flag on everyone's profile for Indians. But remember, Ooh, people racist. forgot about that, like when Asian people, remember when that was a big thing? <laughs> For, like, when, and Shay Gillis just happened. <laughs> yeah. Worst timing ever. That's the guy. Timing. That's the guy who took his boogie board to the ocean when uh, the when the fucking waters were receding hundreds and hundreds of yards. He got hired along with the first Asian ever to be hired at SF. <laughs> All the worst timing. Like the dude, the perfect storm. And it's like, all right, well, just in case, let's look back in his background I, i'm sure he never said anything think, like yeah and it wasn't even back it was the first episode <laughs> <laughs> it was literally the first thing posted just fucking chink 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 <laughs> unreal oh my god dude i remember i remember <laughs> seeing that on my fucking timeline i'll never forget it i was just listening like the week before he was on like legion of skanks and then uh, i fucking all of a sudden i see his big fucking face just SNL sign. I was like, dude, there's no fucking way this guy <laughs> is getting this job. Like, no way. I just saw him on Legion of Skanks where they said nigger like 17 times like, last week. They didn't be, even have to get that far. That'd like, be like if Big J got hired. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it was just one of those ones where you know, you're just like, oh no, no, it's not a chance in hell. I'll say this. I bet like because things like that, like that type of show, they just go. Like, they just follow the money. If eventually, like, it's going to come back where they're going to be like, hey, man, listen, time's passed. We, would you like to be, would you like to host oh, the show? He, 100%, he'll be hosting it at some point. Yeah, I guarantee within it. Within the next 10 to 12 years. Yeah, probably five. You think, oh, maybe, maybe. He's blowing up pretty quick. Yeah. Because, uh, and also Lauren, apparently, like, Lauren actually the only reason that he did get fired was like you said it was because of NBC the network it wasn't like of course. Lauren and everyone at Saturday Night Live still wanted him after that of course it's just, yeah. NBC was like ain't no way yeah ain't no way <laughs> we got people aka mothers who just want to know about the weather and don't even want to think about the slurs directed towards the Asian race By the way, that wasn't even the worst thing that was said on that episode. When you sent me that thing, because mm. you sent me the clip, because I never heard it. And when I heard neuters, and I oh, yeah, neuters. I, I remember I told you, I was like, what? I don't get it. I don't get that joke. And then you told me what it meant. I fucking was. I, oh, I almost threw up. I was dying. That was the most oh. racist thing I've ever heard in my life. Oh, my God, dude. Those early episodes. Oh, neuters. my God. Like, don't get me wrong. That podcast is still hilarious. But, man, those early episodes. Holy shit! I, Some I, of the funniest fucking. Things I tried ever. listening to it, and I'm just not a big podcast guy. I guess you know. I, I mean, yeah, I, you yeah. know this. I just it just it doesn't hit. I mean, I'm I listen to sports talk radio, but that's just because that's what I like. Right, right, right. I get that. Yeah, man. Yeah. I'm starting to get all podcasted out at this point. Anyway, I listen to more music these days. Yeah, I've been listening. To, I got Spotify now, so I've been listening to that. And um, I got that like wrap up thing that for the first time. That was uh, uh that was kind of interesting. It was kind of cool to look at my stats. I liked that. What's what do you mean? Uh, Spotify does this thing where it does like a year long wrap up, so it'll tell you things like here are the top five artists you listen to for the year, and here's uh, like, your number one song. And here's not, like here's like the month you listen to the most of this, and it was pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Yeah. It reads your emotions, and then charts your GPS. <laughs> <laughs> you don't like the idea, do you? No, I do. I do. I don't think you do. I do. Uh, I think it, it's, it'll actually be a thing. <laughs> yeah, but who's gonna make? Who's gonna have the not laziness to make that? Yeah, true. Also, I'm just still waiting for fucking flying cars. That's not. That's never gonna be a thing, Jem. It will, it will, yes, it will. No, Jem, it exists already. That's the thing that I don't understand. No, but it don't. But it does. That's the thing. That's it, a plane. It's it's a helicopter. 
Yeah, that's a helicopter. That's I'm talking about flying cars. Yeah, Jim, it exists. It's called helicopters. No, that's not. No, that's not. It has a big propeller. Yeah, Jim, exactly. It needs to be a car, but flying. That's never going to happen. There's no, there's no. How do you know that's never going to happen? Because there's no <laughs> financial reason for that. That's what happen. everyone said about everything that's ever been invented. People. Like, oh my oh, God. Go back, to, go, go back to, go, go back to middle school. There's going to be a machine that flies through the okay. air. Okay. Oh my god. You know, I tried. My brothers are <laughs> retarded. <laughs> Alright, here we go. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that Einstein guy, he's fucking gay. He'll never build a bomb. Alright, here we go. I saw Oppenheimer too, by the way. By the way, that's that movie kinda stunk. <laughs> I knew you were I knew you weren't gonna like it. That movie it didn't stink, but it was mid. It, that was a mid movie. I'll never watch it again. It was too long. It wasn't mid. It was very They good. tried to they tried to paint him to be like a fucking saint, dude. The that's whole time different. he's a fucking that's, shit bag. That well, hold on. I don't. He's care. the biggest sociopath I've ever seen in my life. He's just fucking all his friends' wives. Well, and that's fucking, the point. That's the point of the movie. Oh, he feels so guilty. It's like this guy's a fucking. He's but, a fucking sociopath. He can't even feel guilt. This guy's a fucking. Yeah, monster. but to be fair, that's what people want. Like someone who directs something like that, they kind of they want people to have different opinions sometimes because it gets people to have like, oh, he was this. No, he was this, and then people talk about it. Boom. Yeah. Um, I didn't even care about that part. I just thought it was like, when, wait, did you see it in theaters? No, but it was long. I really, <laughs> it was long. Uh, I didn't, but I didn't I mind the length. I will say this though. I I think seeing it in theaters made a really big difference. Cause it was like one of those like, boom, 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 boom. <laughs> yeah. Well, the, mu- the music was amazing. I'll well, say that. Well, that's the thing when, so it's like you're in a rave for three hours. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The music, uh, whoever scored it, like at, at certain points, I like looked up some of the songs. I was like, "This is a fucking really good score." But but I do, um, I, I will say this: I it does get annoying some movies where like every moment has to be like this insanely like. Yeah, it's like, dude, can you like not? Can you take a breath? Oh, every fucking scene, they're just fucking sucking this guy's balls for fucking the entire <laughs> movie, dude. <It's, laughs> Oh, you, you know, uh, Oppie, you got to realize that you, you're you not a mortal like all these other people. You know, you still have consequences too, even though you're a god among men and you're just so, you're a genius. It's like, dude, he really didn't do that much. Like, what did he, yeah, at least by the movie. I don't know what he did in real life. Oh, I, but by, I, I, I will say this. Um, he just got together a bunch of people smarter than him and they built a fucking bomb for him. I will say this. Um... Like the hydrogen bomb guy. I want to see a movie about that. Yeah, guy. dude. I was thinking the same I, that thing. That dude seemed like the real fucking smart one. Because that's he was the like, thing. hey, I'm, well, you guys are all wrong. Why don't we just use hydrogen? I'm watching, like, yeah, shut the fuck up. I'm like, I'm, this <laughs> is the one guy that was right the whole time. Yeah, I'm watching the dude. I, I thought the same thing, and I'm watching the movie, and I'm like, wait, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Everyone, everyone, <laughs> everyone's pumped the brakes. This guy never really actually did anything. <laughs> he was just like the conductor. Yeah. I don't know. I yeah, wasn't there. He, I, it was, I don't think he was guilty. I don't think he felt bad. I don't care. It's a movie. It, it, like, it, I, it, it, I, I will say this, and it it's so annoying when people watch a movie and then like they discuss with like <laughs> friends or family who didn't see the movie as if like, yeah, no, he was like this. It's like, it's like, dude, it's a movie. Yeah, no. Yeah, you I'm, have no idea what this guy was actually like in real life. It's a yeah. movie. <laughs> Yeah, I saw a lot of like reviews where they were like, oh, "I learned a lot about history." That I no, like, you dude, didn't. You should not be learning history <laughs> from a fucking Christopher <laughs> Nolan. <laughs> you fucking retard. Read it's, a book. It's unreal. Yeah, yeah. There's no way I would ever come. It away blows from that my being mind. Like, like when people tell me, like, "Oh, you should see this movie." Like, you really get an in depth. It's like, no, you don't. <laughs> no, you don't. <laughs> no, you don't. <laughs> this is entertainment. <laughs> it's unreal. No, it's pretty good though. I mean, I watched the whole thing, so yeah. So it had to be, dude. You should watch a killer. I wanted, I want you to watch Killer of the Killers of the Flower Moon or whatever. It's oh it. yeah, because I don't think you can get through it. I think the next, <laughs> I think you're gonna see it, and the next episode we do, you're gonna be like, what? <laughs> <laughs> Who's in it again? Uh, Leonardo DiCaprio. I mean, I love him though. He's so good. Uh, Robert De Niro. Love him, dude. He's so good. <laughs> ton of Native I love the cat. Ton of Native Americans. Uh, I could do without that. Well, they they play a they play a semi significant role in, in this movie. True. 
uh, and there's a bunch of other ones, but no, I'll watch it. It's not out yet, is it? It's I saw it. Oh, no, like, I mean, but I mean digital. I think it is, but I think you have to pay. So I'm not gonna watch it being filmed on a fucking walkie-talkie. <laughs> 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 I'm going to wait till it comes out for real and then pirate it. I remember when Avatar 2 came out and I tried watching it on this black box thing I had. Oh. And like literally the opening credits, you just hear something doing rip ass. All you hear is burp, 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 burp. <laughs> You hear like a guy shuffling with his chips. <laughs> I was fucking dying, dude. Was, oh my god! It was like lime wire. Oh, fat idiot. <laughs> fucking camcorder and everything. Fucking naked ape. Yeah, shit. Yeah, that one. I waited till it came out, and then I downloaded it. I turned it on. I wa- I might just watch it for a half hour. I, dude, I loved the first one. I couldn't have fucking cared less about the second one. <laughs> I was so, like, I was bored. I was on my phone. I, I saw it, it off. with my girl. It was so tight. It was one of the most boring, like, three hours oh. of my life. No one needed No one asked. No one needed it. <laughs> but it, it happened. Yeah. The first one was great, though. I, I hate the people who just try to be cool and be like, oh, it fucking sucked. It wasn't that good, though, dude. <laughs> no, it, it was it, so amazing. It, it wasn't, though. It was. It wasn't. You're just, you're just it, contrarian. But it was a... Con- just, first off, you're contrarian about uh, Oppenheimer then. Dude, it was... F- no, I'm not. I, I said it was okay. I just... Yeah, I didn't say yeah, it was bad. The first thing you said was it stunk. Well, I just say that because people... Everyone I know... Yeah, because you're trying like, to be contrarian. Like contra- yeah, you're, so you're trying year. to be contrarian. That's literally the definition I'm, of contrarian. No, no, no. But it's really how I feel. That it stunk. No. You, but you said I, that. That, that, is, that the, is just mid. If you, it's mid. No, if, no, no. You're it was saying a that, good movie. Jam, Jam, I'm saying five minutes ago you said it stunk. If you listen back, you'll hear it. I know, I know, but I was just saying that to, to get to you To be going. a contrarian. Was, yeah, no, to get you you specifically. just By I being a like contrarian. It. No, but because I was <laughs> trying to get you a fucking... Be, yeah, I thought we were doing a podcast. Yeah, and the way, oh, my, my, yeah, so in, in the podcast you decided to be a contrarian to get me going. Okay, I was trying to be contrarian about a movie that was popular okay, okay. this year. You don't got you don't got to cross your arms. You don't, okay, I was being you, contrarian about a movie that came uh, out this year. You You're being contrarian about the biggest movie that came out ever. <laughs> so right. you know, You're, first off, I think Avatar two beat that out. And second off, there's no shot it did. Money wise, I think so. Money wise, he says. I mean, you said the biggest That's movie. How fucking, do you define the biggest movie? Because it's an inflation, right? <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> so that d- means everything is more money now. How do you define course. the biggest movie? Well, then, dude, then look back at a movie like The Birth Ticket of a Nation sold. might be the b- biggest movie then. Ticket sold. Ticket sold, then it still might be Avatar 2. No way. Which also is a stupid way to do that, too, because there's more people now. That is, yeah, that's true. Yeah, is there though? No, there's not. Oh my god! I thought the I thought the birth rate was going down in this country. Oh shit! Who cares? No, I don't. But it is. Uh, do you still want to? Do you want to continue this, or because I gotta take a piss? I'm gonna pause it real quick. All right. Yeah. I'll... I almost did. I almost clicked stop recording. <clears throat> Why did I put my hat back on? <laughs> oh, we were recording a podcast. Well, let me get my hat real quick. Can't record a podcast with that. The good old beanie. <sighs> la la la. <laughs> oh, I still have to do those uh, grip exercises. Who the fuck is he? Is he taking a piss or a shit? Uh, All right. Yeah. How, how much longer you want to go? Five, ten minutes? Sure. All right. Hmm. I got nothing. Oppenheimer stunk. <laughs> <laughs> Just admit it sucked. It didn't. But um, no, it didn't. But isn't the isn't the isn't the bar pretty low when that's the best movie everyone's saying of the year? <laughs> that fucking movie, three I, hour long movie about a fucking boring guy. I'll say this: I think I don't like when movies they. They make, how do I say this? All right. Obviously, the atomic bomb is a big deal, right? And obviously, having sounds in your movie that go, boom, 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 is like, makes things sound big. 
So, like, if I go, ah, oh, man, like, that movie kind of wasn't that big of a deal. People are like, it was about the atomic bomb. It's like, <laughs> yeah, dude, I get that. But the actual movie, do you know what I mean? Like, yeah, like, watch Platoon. That's it because you get invested to the characters and the death and the war. With this, it's like, it's about death and the atomic bomb. And you have, like, big cinematic scores for that. However, the one I will say the one downside with the movie is like I left it and I was like, yeah, like I left it going. Wow, that was a really great movie. I loved that. And then like within like a short amount of time, I'm like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, yeah, like, yeah. like yeah, it's not like Shaw. Like, dude, you want to know a big That's moment insane. when fucking Andy Dufresne escapes from that fucking sewer drain in Shawshank. <laughs> That's a big one. That resonates. That was in the 90s. That fucking movie. I, yeah, no. That well, I think that's the biggest problem I had with the movie is that I felt like the climax was at like an hour and forty minutes, <laughs> where I literally was like, "Oh, dude, dude like the movie's over." Like, I, and then I, I, I went, I home. dragged my, I dragged my mouse down, and it was like there was still another like forty minutes. Wait, like, wait, hold oh, on. Wait, wait, yeah. What do you mean you dragged your mouse down? Well, because I was watching it on. I, I told you I didn't see it in, in theaters. How'd you see it? On my computer. Where were at you? Home. Where were you sitting? At my computer at home. But like, what kind of seat were you sitting on? Like a uh, computer chair. You where I'm sitting right now <laughs> at my computer. <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> you sat. You sat on a computer chair for three hours watching Oppenheimer. Yeah. Jeff. On my fucking 2K monitor. What are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Lay down on the couch. Lay on your bed. No, nah, because nah, I don't have good enough eyesight. Oh, my. Get glasses. I don't like glasses. They give me oh, headache. Get contacts. <laughs> I can't have contacts because I have a stigma to this. I think you don't just jump off the roof then and kill yourself. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you, dude. This is crazy. <laughs> this is crazy. You fucking watch the Oppenheimer on your 2K television. 2K says 2K television. Dude, this thing is, is a nice monitor. You watch well, yourself. Get a, get a 4K then. <laughs> I know. I should. I can't believe I got 2K, but. <laughs> oh, my God. It was too long. All right. You have anything else to add to this episode? Uh, I don't really got much. Uh, it's Harriet Tubman, dude. Harriet Tubman. Who knew Harriet Tubman would fucking break up a friendship? Dude? <laughs> you know that's not what's going on. He's just fucking doing shit in London. No, he ain't. He's fuming. You think, you think he's pacing back and forth? He hasn't posted not a fucking meme in that fucking page. <laughs> he's, he's upset. Uh, what do we do? Uh, I guess to be fair, we were like really. I lo- I will say this, and I've told Brendan this before. Um, he, oh my God, Ricky Lake. They say I've told Brendan this before. <laughs> I, I, I think so. He moved from like Baltimore, like it's gotta be around like fifteen years ago. And I told him I was like, dude, I think like your brain is still like, like you, like he talks about America as if it was like fifteen years ago. Mm. It's just like, bro, it's not like two thousand. Eight anymore. Yeah, that's true because he hasn't been here. He hasn't been here forever. He doesn't know. Nah, things have changed, man. Tom Tubman. Eric Tubman. <laughs> There's a Harry Tubman statue right outside my work. <laughs> <laughs> we all celebrate Harry Tubman Day. <laughs> Harry Tubman Day and then Ricky Lake Week. <laughs> I hated that Ricky Lake photo. I hated that you guys sent me that. I was. Oh, God. I t- no, I hated that Indian woman. I. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, I'm looking at this image right now. I defended this girl. I still you said she was beautiful. No, no, no. Hold on. I'm look- no. Hold on. That's not the one I'm talking about. I just said it. Oh yeah, that girl, dude. I was fucking. I was human. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of st- that fucking muppet. I kind of still defend her. No, I don't. I do. I I would never. Yes, you would. No, she's gross. Dude. If, if, Legitimately gross. Hold on. If you're horny as shit, right? And she just comes through your door, you're, you're going to be like, no, yeah, you got to go. Yeah, it just smells, dude. 
Get out oh, of my room. She smells like what? I'll jerk off, dude. She sm- I don't know. She looks like she smells like fucking dir- jerky or something. What? <laughs> <laughs> Durky. I don't even know what word. I'll make turkey, up a word. Turkey, turkey, turkey. <laughs> She's all sagging and fucking leather and old and forgot fucking about, mop. That's her, she- like, at her best, dude. No, that's her, no, like, no. That's her, like, done up for an award show. Oh, 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 at that time. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah like, that's her at her peak, man. I don't know who she is. Like, she's not coming in my room looking like that. She's coming in my oh, room looking half as good. Nikki Cox. I think she was a porn star. Brandon knows a lot of porn stars. Yeah, they're all old. They're <laughs> all from 2008. <laughs> well, he's, he's 40. You gotta remember that shit. I know, but he's, his brain is stuck in Baltimore in 2008. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, someone, this is great. All right, I'll, I'll send you this and then we'll, I'll head out. <laughs> it's a Star Trek. <laughs> that hurt? No, but dude, look at these old pictures of her, man. These are crazy. I've never seen, I've never seen this girl in my life. No, I don't no, want to send never. a fucking gift, Discord. Jesus Christ. Oh, yeah. She, I mean, she doesn't look bad there at all. Yeah, she looks. Gorgeous. What happened? Oh wait, yeah. I'm sorry. She wasn't a porn star. She must have been an actress or something. She's yeah. She's insane there. Yeah, like that's incredible. But but see, but you and Brandon will act like I have three heads when I say like younger women are always hotter than their older selves, and you guys will be like, no. Well, that's not true though. It's impossible. What? You've never seen a girl who was like really maybe like say overweight when they're 20, and then now they're like say 20. 6 27 like even five years later 25 and they lost a ton of weight and got in better shape like that they're gonna look better then i mean they're gonna look skinnier you don't think they're gonna look better like there's no there's absolutely no way they could look better five years later well no because you're changing the game here because you'd have to compare them fat at 40 because yeah. to keep it consistent what do you wait, 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 wait. <laughs> keep what <laughs> what you're trying to change the rules dude. what you're, you're how what did i do monopoly and now buddy, you're pulling buddy, out buddy, the fucking, you said you're pulling out the you menu said there's sheet. no way a girl can look better when they're older I, that's for, for one that's not what i said you but, just said two, that. you Said that. I will say no. I will agree with it, but that isn't what I said. What did you say? You because you said it. I said a twenty-year-old girl will always look hotter than herself at forty. No, no, no. But that—that's not what you said a couple of minutes ago. Just now, you didn't say that. But that's the same thing. No, it's not. Be, you said older. Older could be a year. Could be two years. Could be three years. That's what. How, that's how time works. That's how, that's how age works. Yeah, but one year, one year you're gonna look the same. Almost. Well, then you can't just. Jim, you, that's on you for saying it, though. You said it. Well, what if what if one year later she gets hit by a truck? Well, then now she doesn't look as good from one year. Now, now, yeah, now I'm bending your rules. No, you're not bending the rules. No, because if she gets hit by a truck a year after, she'll look worse after she got hit by the truck. Okay. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. You're saying the day she gets hit by the truck compared to a year after recovering from hit by the truck. No. (laughs) Jim, either way. (laughs) Hold on. Let's 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 take this stupid example out of the picture. I'm saying her before she got hit by a truck and then after she got hit by a truck. Yeah, what about her? Yeah, I'm using your dumb argument. Saying fat and skinny and fucking you're changing the rules. Jim, I didn't change the rules. You said something. That was wrong, and I pointed out. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. <laughs> you did, but you did. You, I you, said something that was just objectively true. No, you, you didn't. You decided you, to go. Well, what about go. this one little exception uh, thing that well, I'm wait, just making on. up? You said always. Always Who the fuck means loses weight. Always. <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> All right, you're just people don't lose weight as they get older. They <laughs> fucking gain weight. No you're just, fucking. You're no just, forty year old is fatter than when I mean skinnier than when they you're were. You're just arguing 20. to argue. No, I. Yes, you, you know are. I'm right. You're wrong. If you're, you, you if, know, twenty year olds are hotter than forty year olds. You know it. No, no, buddy, buddy. You're, you're, you're saying just, different, you and Brandon argue just, it just to sound cool. You're saying but you know d- it. two different things. Two, not you're saying a multitude of different things, <laughs> which is unreal. I'm saying that young women are hotter than no, old no, women. No, <laughs> no. See, I when people argue like I'm this, I'm saying the only same. I love it because I'll say because here's the thing: the first thing you said was women. Don't look as good when they're older when, than when they're younger. Yes. But if you take I'm, just one example, and if you just take one example where that's not true, 
that makes the thing. But you haven't given an example that is. I just did. If someone is like really say obese and unhealthy when they're 20 and they get into great, amazing shape now at the age of 25, they're going to look better. Oh, see, now it's 25. Okay, I said I 25 you earlier. The co- you're I said, the deck. I'm not. Because that's <laughs> you what, said 40 earlier. You no, said 40. I didn't. You yes, said 40. You did. Jeb, listen you, back no, to you, the I episode. Said you, you said, said yeah, it's, you it's said, all recording. You, fucking idiot. you, said, you said 40. 40. I said 25. I said 40 because you said 40. I said 27, 20, even 25. And then, that's even besides the point. But that's still young. 25 is still young. No, no, but that's, Jeb, do you know what the word older means? Yeah, but that's not what I said. I you said, said young you women said, no, you said and older. old women. I didn't say older. I no, said old. Listen back to the episode, buddy. I, <laughs> All right. Time stamp like one See, minute, and tr- one hour and 12 minutes and listen you back. You try so hard to argue with such an objectively true statement. <laughs> no, no, because you're saying something no wrong. One, no, one, no one gets a bunch of 40-year-old women on their yacht. No one cares about four-year-old women. That's, that's, all right, two things. One, that's hilarious. You have to. Because that's, <laughs> <'cause> that's <laughs> No one ever wants to go to the, the 40-year-old yacht. Yeah. <laughs> it's called Carnival Cruise. <laughs> no, not Carnival. It's like, I'm trying to think Norwegian Cruise Line. Oh, any cruise ship probably. Just fucking fat old women. With that, with that being said, that still does <laughs> No one wants to go on the 40-year-old women. <laughs> Holy shit. Just fucking PMS it all over the place. Oh my god, just going through heat, menopause. Menopause and, and Oh god. I had three kids already and just fucking red wine breath. Oh. <laughs> Cigarettes fucking teeth tainted like they just have like a, oh. a tint to them forever now. Yeah, that weird yellow tint and they got fucking fake hair, fake tits. I'm thinking fake... the dark tint like from all the red wine. Oh, a little, yeah, like gray teeth. Oh, maroon. <laughs> but I think we're talking like 50, 60 year old now. Yeah, women are 50 after 30, though. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now you're, just, now you're just saying shit. <laughs> they hit a wall, dude. They hit a fucking wall. <laughs> yeah, it's called having kids. Guys hit it at 50. Guys hit the wall at 50, and then they might as well be 80. Here's the thing girls hit a wall when they have kids. Guys hit a wall when their dick doesn't work anymore. Yeah. Like when a yeah, girl, yeah. like, cause having kids just cause like the that, dick's the whole thing of it. That's the thing. Like if you lose your dick, it's like, well, what's the point of doing anything? Anymore? <laughs> yeah, you just give up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you just stop. You just stop doing anything. You sit on the recliner, get fat. Yeah. It's like, this doesn't work anyway. So who gives a fuck? <laughs> All right, you got anything else to add? Uh, yeah, and on that no. note, Brandon, <laughs> Eric Dubman, Gary, come home. <laughs> 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 Every so often, I'll just send that to him, like just the, the private DM. I'll just send. Oh it. no, send it in the Kanye group. West, Gary. Come oh, does home. he read them at least? I don't know. You could see if he. I don't it. think he gets the meme. I don't think he like. I think he was too old for SpongeBob. I don't even think he gets the reference. I don't think he likes us anymore. <laughs> <laughs> he's fine. He's fucking dude. He's doing. Uh, it's probably like busy as hell. It's the end. It's the holiday season. There are probably stand up shows going on all over the place. You know, chuckle hut. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, when I said that, you almost fell off your chair. Chuckle. Fucking chuckle out of here. <laughs> you all I'm selling out shows. Yeah, the old chuckle, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Crushing it. <laughs> old London laughs over there. <laughs> yeah. Chuckle <on> it. <laughs> I was so happy that they actually had a little <laughs> emoji for a hut. Yeah, a little hut. <laughs> he is. That's what he's headlining the chuckle hut. That. I love you, Brandon. Brandon. Brandon, come home. We got to get come home. Brandon, Duel, and T Tac on the show soon enough. Dude, T Tac for sure. T Tac for sure. I love that dude. He's. I wish he didn't have thirteen kids, but <laughs> <laughs> and I dual, love talking and, to him. And Duel, you know, we'll get him. We won't try as hard yeah. with him. <laughs> Duel's a guy. Duel, Duel exists. He's alive. 
He's it was always, one of the guys of all time. I've never know. I've never known a guy who doesn't do anything yet is always <laughs> busy. <laughs> Like I've never, I've never met someone like that before. In my He's time. the busiest fucking slacker I know. Dude. I do guys eleven projects and fucking never busy. He's got every bong for fucking every day of the week. This guy's got six storage closets with nothing in it. Oh my god, duel. Oh fuck. I want to just hit him with a fucking <laughs> resume. <laughs> <laughs> Got to work, you fuck. He, he's the type of guy that makes like ten resumes, but never gives them out. <laughs> yeah. yeah, he goes to Staples, gets fucking fifty of them. They're all just in his glove box. He definitely has a business card. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> no, he has a yeah, he has a Photoshop template for one that he never finished. <laughs> Oh, I love Duel, but <laughs> I fucking want to hit him with a bus. <laughs> I want to hit him with T-Tac. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. At least T-Tac has an excuse, dude. He has a fucking eight kids. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, wasn't it? Didn't T-Tac tell us a story? He was like under his house one day. Yeah, dude. That <laughs> was so funny. Just crawling under the house. It's like I've never heard of anyone ever being under their house. He was doing like spackle work in the crawl space and then he got like stuck. <laughs> imagine, could you, because he's a little fat, can you imagine like his little legs dangling out oh. just going back and forth? Like, help! Help, kids! Fucking his Tim's on. <laughs> just and, calling for his daughter. And you know he has cargo shorts oh. with like a calf oh. tattoo or something. <laughs> A calf tattoo of like his favorite football team. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> fucking lions or something. <laughs> like, oh, whatever lions. he was, I was a fucking Ohio or whatever he was. Uh, fucking <laughs> the lions. <laughs> fucking Minnesota Vikings. <laughs> Hell. Hell. <laughs> Who else? Dude, I wouldn't, I, I would never go down a crawl space and I'm skinny. I He's a, he's a daring person for being chubby and going in one. Ah, uh, you know about that kid? They they always keep they always bring. I always like see stories about this kid. This kid died so long ago though. The guy who did like that cave crawling thing, where you like crawl, oh, yeah. <laughs> and he got stuck for like twenty. Are you talking about the one from like the nineteen hundreds? No, 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 no. Oh, okay. This is sem- like this is modern history. Like, oh, okay. I'd say within the last fifteen years, this happened. Oh, okay. There was the internet historian did one about that guy in like the early 1900s. He he was down there for like fucking 12 days and then he died. Oh, no, no. This was. It's an insane video. This dude. kid was <laughs> upside down. So, like, he just, like. Oh, my. Upside down within a space that's, like, basically the size of your body. Oh, thanks. Yeah, dude. I don't. How do you get there in life? Like, that's the thing you want to do, kind of thing? Like, how do you get yeah. there? Yeah. Yeah. I, you know, you can, it's like the the climbing rocks without any like devices or the jumping off things with parachutes. For some reason, with my mind, I understand that. The cave crawling, I don't get that. I don't understand the rush with that one. Yeah, it's too slow and tedious. Hmm. But yeah, and the, the, I, the thing is, is you know, because once you do get stuck, it's over. Like, it's over. The, it, and there's no, there's no being mad at like anything, because you're just but like, yourself. oh, I did this. Yeah. Because <laughs> <laughs> I've had things in life where something fucks up and it's t- a thousand percent my fault, and it's even that much more frustrating because it's just like, oh, I'm a fucking idiot. <laughs> and then you die. Someone wrote a fucking great comment. It was because it was about that story. It was on Twitter and goes, imagine when he was going through like, f- like, and like, he just listed off like bullet points of his thoughts. It's like, oh man, I'm kind of in a pickle right here. <laughs> like, and like, oh man, I don't think I can get out. Oh, all right. Well, I, I can get the rescue crew. I'm sure they can get me. Oh, they're really, yeah. they're really, it's really taking them a while to get me. Oh, I'm starting to feel a little faint. Uh, and it's like, oh shit. I don't think I'm ever going to get out of here. And it's, and it's just like, and then dead. Yeah, they're checking like the Amazon tracking <laughs> in Pennsylvania. <laughs> They'll come here any minute. And They'll I'll, be pulling me out. And I'm over here like, yeah, my shipment's like two minutes or two days. Upside down. Yeah, that's crazy. I mean, how would you last more than like an hour? Like, wouldn't you get fucking lightheaded? Yeah, but lightheaded and then eventually actually dying are two different things. 
Mm. Just kind of like what you said earlier was two different things. Why is it always so hard to get him out? Just fucking TNT the fucking shit. Because <laughs> then he'll die. I know he's going to die anyway. I'd be like, dude, just blow the fucking top part of this off. And then at least if I die, I die now. <laughs> Instead of like <laughs> starving here for four weeks. Just kill so, me. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Duel, you know, get duel. All right, we'll get duel. We'll get T Tac. T Tac. It's on you to get Brandon. Um, yeah, we'll get them all. In. I'll send him some Gary come homes. Gary, Gary come home. Send, <laughs> send him a black Gary come home. Gary, can't you see that is a Kanye West? Hey, yo, Brandon, you ever be driving? <laughs> <laughs> Gary, can't you see? I was blind, I'd do anything to so change wait, your wait, mind. Wait, wait, hold on, hold on, because I, I still get... Is it, is it really Kanye West singing? No, it's Oh, it's AI. AI Ka- that's right. Yeah, you but it me. sounds exactly like... <laughs> 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 it is Kanye West for all intents and purposes. Because honestly, I can, totally, like, he, I can totally see him doing it. Like, actually <laughs> doing it. Too, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like a studio professional fucking... Yeah. Can you, can't you see... I was blind. I'd do anything to change right. your mind. I got. I got. I got. I got. I got. I got, I got fucking eat. I'm hung. I'm hungry as a motherfucker. Yeah, me too. I'm gonna fucking demolish some blueberries. <laughs> oh my blueberries! All right, I'll talk to you. All right, later.